What's up guys, it's Zenix here back with another video for you guys and today we have some more Destiny Rise of Iron information coming at you. Um, we have a lot of stuff that was revealed actually and um, I'm a little late to get to the party because I actually didn't see this reveal. I was very busy when all this started kind of coming out, um, which was yesterday as of today. Sorry I'm late to the party but we're still going to cover this for you guys who haven't seen it yet and uh, you know just want to get a look at it. So um, we have Game Informer who actually covered a lot of the new information that's coming out. So we're going to go ahead and read from here and, uh, you know, see it, what's going on here. Um, one of the major things that we're going to be looking at right now is the major artifact overhaul that's going to be happening. They're really changing up the artifacts and kind of going to make them a little bit better. So let's see how this is going to go. While players can still use and infuse older artifacts, Rise of Iron introduces eight brand new artifacts that are class agnostic and able to be freely used with any class and subclass. Each of the new artifacts connects to a particular member of the deceased Iron Lords, such as Felwinter, Jolder, or Skori, or Yolder if you want to say it like that. Um, a new character named Tyra Karn is a centerpiece for Guardians looking to acquire the new Iron Lord artifacts. She sends players out into the Plague Lands to commit mighty deeds in memory of the Iron Lords, a task that should be pretty straightforward for anyone who engages with the new content. Upon completing that task, you gain an item called the Iron Lords Legacy, which in turn can be used to acquire one of three artifacts Tyra has on offer in any given week. Over the course of eight weeks or more of play, you should be able to acquire all eight new artifacts. Each of these artifacts has a game-changing ability attached to it. One offers the option to melee enemy units and gain their allegiance for a short time. A second artifact eliminates your super but gives you two grenades, two melees, and an increase in all your stats. Each of the artifacts can be combined with exotic weapons and armor as well as subclasses to create new and interesting build options. Moreover, every one of the new artifacts is meant to evoke the character of the Iron Lord for which it is named. Yolder tended to charge headlong into danger so her artifact eliminates the sprint recharge delay. In our time playing, the artifacts were enjoyable to try out and the idea of ongoing week to week collection experience should lend some legs to the expansion and led to community conversation in the early weeks after releases players each start experimenting with their artifact of choice so as you can see artifacts are going to be uh you know a huge change in the new dlc and it's going to actually you know bring some originality to uh destiny as it was just you know the Taken king dlc was really good but you just it just died off really fast for everybody so in order for it to be game changing abilities like the whole factor of taking away your super to add two melee charges and two grenades and also boost all your stats to full and you know the, how the one offers to the option to melee enemy units and gain their allegiance for a short time, that is really cool. You're going to actually be able to have pretty much your own minions following you around. That is really freaking awesome. So that's all we're going to focus on for this video is the major artifact change. Um, we're going to split these off to different videos of all the different news related stuff. Um, the next one we're going to be focusing on, uh, you know, the return of some weapons that are really awesome and also, you know, kind of pissing a lot of people off. So we're going to get into that in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. But without further ado, Harmony Within, Hurricane Without Guardians, and I'll see you all in the next video.